Hey guys, welcome to another week of home workouts. Okay, so let's get straight into our warm up for today. Um, some hopefully good news coming our way. Vaccines getting out there, and there's talk of, talk of non essential retail um, being open in May. So, fingers crossed that will include us. Um, around about probably the same time, mutations and hairdressers have been open. It seems to be kind of what we have been put in the same bracket as before. So, Fingers crossed, vaccine rollout will continue and even increase and we can get back open in May. Between now and then, we got two months, we can either sit around and do nothing or we can get out, we can get active and we can do a bit and maintain what we can. Um, so get jogging, get cycling, getting a few home workouts done, do what you can. Today's workout guys, let's start with our warm up. We've got a uh, couch stretch, so we're going to lose those hip flexors and quads. We're going to take our couch, our chair, our bench, our table, and we're going to just open up that hip flexor and quads and knee down. We're going to tuck that pelvis under, we're going to squeeze that glute as hard as we can, we're going to drive that hip forward for like 90 degrees, no arch for our lower back. We're going to go 45 seconds on each side. Make sure we get a good squeeze in that glute on the right side so that it opens up that hip flexor. Once we've got both sides done, we're going to come down and we're going to just take our palms flat to the ground and we're going to walk our knees back, we're going to sit our bum back into our heels, we're going to drive our head and chest down through those arms, pushing down and through, holding that bottom position 20 or 30 seconds, if you want you can come up and then sit back into it and try and go a little bit further in your next breath. Open up that T-spine and shoulders, preparing them to go overhead. We've got some dumbbell snatches today. Then we're just going to do some light controls, body weight lunges to warm up those legs. Okay, so whatever version of a lunge that you're planning to do in the mech on, for most people I advise that be a reverse lunge. We're going to go four on our right side and then four on our left side. Okay, once we'll that's done guys, let's get after three rounds. Straight forward mech on today guys, we're gonna put 12 minutes on the clock. We're gonna do a ladder, two movements, work as high up that ladder as we can. Okay, so our two movements are alternating dumbbell snatch. We're gonna start with two reps, that's one rep each arm. We're then gonna go on to our second movement, which is gonna be our lunge. Okay, so one lunge each leg. If you wanna go RX, Plus on this today, you're going to use your dumbbell on the lunges as well as the snatch. Okay, so two reps. If you want to go RX plus, you're going to take it into your chest. And then you're going to go your two lunges and then back down. Second round is going to be four snatches, two each arm. And if you want to go RX plus, you're going to take your dumbbell. I'm going to do four lunges to each leg and so on. If lunges are difficult for you, if you're worried about your posture, your lower back, um, whatever the case may be, just not feeling up to it today and just want to get moving a little bit, then drop that dumbbell out of the lunge and just do bodyweight lunges instead. Okay, so it's going to go two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, 18, 20, etc. All the way until we hit 12 minutes on the clock. So you're gonna complete as many rounds and additional reps as possible within our 12 minutes. Just take it easy. Um, try not to rush it at the start. At the start you'll fly through the rounds and you'll be like, oh my God, I'm gonna get so high up this ladder. And then as you get higher up those reps, you're gonna slow down drastically. So just bear that in mind. Start easy, control, take your time transitioning and just maintain that. There's no harm in dropping that dumbbell down in between your lunge and your snatch if you're using it for both movements. As you get into the higher rep range rounds, say like 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, there's no harm in breaking up the reps. So you might do 
Round of 16, you might do eight snatches in a row, drop the dumbbell down, take five deep breaths, pick it up, do eight snatches in a row, drop down, take five deep breaths, and move on to your lunges. So break it up, make sure your technique's on point, make sure you're hitting the standards, your knee's touching the ground on the lunges, your dumbbell is touching the ground on the floor, and you're getting full lock out overhead, and you're alternating your arms each time. Maintain your posture during those snatches, keep the chest up, bend the knees and hips, and then use the legs, and then the arm at the end to get that dumbbell over your head. Okay guys, so challenge the workout, because there's something in your hands for most of it. Legs are working in both movements, arms are working in the snatches. So just pace that one, see how high up the ladder you get. Good little workout, 12 minutes done and dusted. Hope to see us on Zoom guys. Um, any questions, any alternatives, you could also use a ground overhead with a plate if you didn't have uh, a dumbbell and maybe double the reps. Plenty of options available guys. All you really need is a dumbbell there today or a plate or a kettlebell to get this one done. Hopefully we will see you guys soon.